Hello and welcome into my channel, Lantech Philo. So today I want to train on arrays in JavaScript. Arrays are very important in every programming language. They are a very, very important part. So you need to be careful when you're learning about this tutorial. So we'll discuss 10 major parts whereby we'll discuss what is an array, we'll discuss how to create an array, we'll discuss use of new keyword, we'll discuss now how, how to access array elements, we'll discuss adding array elements, we'll discuss how to change an array element, we'll also discuss how to find an array length, we'll discuss array methods and uh, array methods and properties we'll discuss how to access the first and the last this is last eh? so this is last element of an array then we'll also discuss how to loop through Harris so welcome and subscribe to our channel if you are just new watch till the end it's gonna be awesome thank you let's start so first of all, you just need to open your test editor. On my side, I'm using Visual Studio Code. So then you create a file with an uh, .html extension, whereby we are going now to use embedded JavaScript, whereby we are going to write it in a, in a HTML file, all right? Now we're going to learn arrays. JavaScript right now in between your body tanks now you'll now have your script tank love of your script tank so this is so this is script tank Right. After that, you'll have now to start with what is an array. What is an array? So, an array is just a special variable which can hold more than one value at a time. They are used to store multiple values in a single variable. Right? Now, let's jump to how to create an array. How to create and hurry but before we look at how to create an hurry we'll have an example of basic or just the syntax on how to create an hurry first of all we'll have now variable we'll have now the variable then we'll have now hurry name then we'll have items item one all value you can just have value one value one value two you can have value two you can have value three and uh, it continues so you can have as many values as you wish all right so this is the general format on how to create an array then after that you have now to insert your semicolon right now let's have an example of an array let's have an example of an array by love furry let's call it furry fruit so this is fruit then we love now mangoes we love mangoes oranges Love pineapples, love pineapples. So this is just an array, all right? Now we have our variable name or array name. This is fruit. Then we love now. So instead of having your variable s, you can have your variable s. So let's put this into comment. Instead of having your variable s, variable fruit or variable fruit 
we have mango mangoes arable fruit then we have oranges then we have arable fruit so instead of having all these in that format you can just have it as a single variable then you just combine it so that's all what you call a variable now you have discussed or now you can create a variable all right now next part we want to learn on use of keyword new keyword so the use of this one so this new all right now new keyword is just used as we have discussed to create variables but let's see how it appears so love variable fruit label variable fruit then equals to you have now new new hurry new hurry but we love now the bracket we love now the bracket user separated by new array separated by a underscore then you love now your mangoes your your pineapples so that's all so the new keyword new keyword is just used or is just used to create or is just used to create arrays but for clarity and uh, also this new keyword it complicates the code and also may result or may give an expected result so instead of that just use the first example that we used on how to create arrays all right now instead of using the new keyword now we'll not be using new keyword again but it can be used to create an array it's they are just the same the example that we gave so you can just jump to that and go to part three bye bye will learn now or part four now accessing array element how can you access an array element first of all what you need to know arrays array elements now array elements let's write as an array element elements are indexed from zero are indexed from zero Let's have an example here, Farcas, whereby we love now. This is out. We love now. Mercedes. We love now. Another one, we call it Toyota. You can call it Toyota. Toyota. All right. Now, how can you access? Now, you, let's say for instance, you want to inst access Mercedes. How can you print out Mercedes on your on your screen? So you said that array elements are indexed from zero. So it means that this value for this one is zero. Then this is one and this is two. And the, the order continues like that. We have for zero, one, two, three so how can you access how can you access your in your your harris now to access your harris now we love now to write let's say cars then you can just write you can just write that one then you call it you just write one so we want to access what mercedes so if we want to print out mercedes we just write cast the value or the hurry name then into 
square brackets then you in between there you insert the the value or the index for that for that um, now the the hurry element now let's see our result here then you refresh now solve for that we laugh now Fire name equals to right. Sorry, sorry. So you have first to write the fire name equals to cast then that new. If you refresh, sorry, it's a problem here. What's going on? No, this is. Let's try zero. All right, because you just need to print out your cars or just Mercedes. Now we we'll have now to indicate or we just write document dot write document dot write dot write. Then you can just have your have your bracket. Then in between there you can just write. Cas, Cas is a hurry name now, but you insert in between there. Now this one will help you to print out on your screen because you want to print out on a screen. So that's what you had given before is just the general format on how you can print out. When you want to print on the screen now, just you need to write that one. Then you just come here, then you refresh, right? Now this is. What is printed out now? We have Mercedes. We have Mercedes. Now you can just let's say you want to you want to print out Toyota. You can have two. So the value for Toyota is two. So instead of Mercedes here, you can have Toyota. All right. Now that's how you you access. That's how you access array. That's how you access array. For instance, if you want to. If you want to change, or you just need to change the value, the value for any of these array elements. So these are the array elements. Now, if you want to change any array elements here, you can just have, you can just have, let's say cars. Then we have what? We have, let's say you want to change out, that is zero. You can give it a value of you can give it a value of let's change this to fold you're changing it to fold all right now let's see the result let's see the result now you need to write document right so this one is used for printing out your results on the screen now we love now to print cars we love now we need to print out cars all right now just go there then you refresh so we love ford mercedes and toyota so audi is changed from out to ford all right you can change any other value within the element within the the hurry you can change any value you can change toyota you can change. so you just need first to write the value and this index then you the value you want to change to all right now we love now the other part. We love now the other part. Bye bye. We look or now you can access. Now we are here now. We have how to access the array elements. Before we look at how to add array elements, we can just check on now because they are just the same. Or you can access the first and the last element. Or you can access first and last element. Now go back to your code on how to access first and uh, last. So you can add another. Let's add another 
another value there, then you call it phi8. So this is phi8. Now we can have how to access the first element. How to access first element? You, you can just call it first first element, then you can call it cas. So this is cas. Then we have zero. So the first element is given a value of zero. Then you'll have now the document. The right. The right now. Huh? Then you call you print out cas. Or you can just write fast. No, oh, sorry, sorry for this. So this is this is fast. This is fast now. Then you'll have some colon there. Go back to your then you refresh. So when you access your first your first array element it gives out out right now that's how you first you you can just write very fast or just then you give up the, the hurry name is cast then the index for first element is zero now when you are accessing your last element now you call it last you can just call it last then In between here, in between here, you can have cast dot length. Minus one. All right. Now you'll find that every array element is one value extra because it starts from zero. So if you want to write the value for this one, it will be it will be five all right now to get the value or it will just be it will be four so to get the value for this one you need to minus one far length length this property now is just used to find the length of an array the length of an array is a number of elements that are in that particular array and they are one value extra let's say for this array now it has four elements it has four elements so but its value the last value has three the last value now has an index of three because this is zero one two three now to get the value of this one or to print out this one you have now to get the array name dot or you just use this one syntax of full stop then you'll have now the length the length of that hurry which is four now this one will give the hurry in this is this formula now gives the the number of arrays or the length of an hurry which is the number of arrays so that is four minus one when you minus by one you get what three so it will print out this one then here in between here you print out what last right now let's print out you see now the v8 is printed out right now we love now the other part of adding or adding we love now the other part of adding we love the other part of adding and hurry elements now we have said or we have seen how you can change the value of an hurry to another value we have seen how you can access them now we want to see how can you now add hurry elements right now to add an hurry elements we use push method we use push method push method this one now use this push method all right now whereby you laugh now to write cas dot push let's call it push 
then we laugh now then into double quotes you can add what we are adding we are adding now how we are adding no 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 how this there we can add ford we can add ford so so looking at this array element now we have four elements whereby is out mercedes toyota v8 now we love now the ford we'll need to we use push method to add to this hurry now we need to print out the whole the whole now hurry whereby we love to print out cars right then use semicolon there now just go to your to your browser then you refresh see now ford is added at the end you have our mercedes toyota v8 and ford right now hope you guys you are understanding you can subscribe there like and share with your friends now you see now we can add array using push method now the next part of our tutorial today we'll be discussing or now you can We have seen how you can change an array element. We have seen how you can add. Now, we need to discuss now the next part, the seventh part now, how to find an array length. Now, as we have said before, the length or the length of an array is a number of array elements. That are in that hurry, particular hurry. So, to find the hurry element or to find the length of an hurry, we use length method. We use now the length. The length property the length property all right now we laugh now we have our our hurry here now we want to check out as you can see here you can count by yourself these are four elements but suppose what 300 elements can you count it's impossible so to find and to use a formula to find out these how to access or to find the length of this array now you just need to use a length property now let's say this is cars then you love now the length we love now the length right then you use a semicolon now this one will give out this formula alone will give out the or the length of this array now let's print out let's print out now cast then then you refresh now We laugh now to print out cars dot length. We laugh now to print out car dot length. Right? Now, after that, just go to your browser and you refresh rates. So, this is for we are not going to print out cars as we ind indicated initially because cars will print out the array it will just print out the arrays but here we've just written a formula 
So instead of even writing your formula here, you can just have it in, in between your brackets here. Which one? This formula now alone will give out the formula or will give out the array of this one. So let's say we add another value here. Let's add another value here, which is forward. Now we will say that this is this will give the array. Now we'll have now changes to five. Now the array elements is there. There are five. Alright. Now that's how you find the length of an array. That's how you find the length of an array. The other part we'll be looking at. So the array properties and methods are all are all those we have discussed. The use of push, the use of length property, the use of the other one will be using how to find for each loop. So those are just the array properties and methods. So there are several. You can just visit our website, landtechfellow.com, and see most uh, go through this our course and uh, see most of this things we're talking here the other part we will be looking at is looping through harris and this marks last part of our tutorial this marks last part of our tutorial we'll just discuss into major all we just will just mention into two parts whereby we'll discuss how to loop through arrays using for loop using for loop then we love now for each loop all right now let's discuss the first part whereby we love now all right we love now the furry furry cars we love now the test we love now then we laugh now. All right. Now, flame or this one now we have used here is just used to find the fruit length. Or or okay, you can just use gas. You can just use gas. Right. Now you can use clan. All right. This one now is used to show. Or just used to show it's just used to show the length the length of the hurry the hurry which I'm going to use which is C so C stands for the cars the hurry name then this one stands for the length the length of this array now you're going to use then this is a test now let's start and this one is just uses uh, you can just use any other letter will see its importance as will be this one is just used for increment or decrement all right if you want to increase we just tend to increase so loop is whereby you iterate through a, a certain until a certain condition is met right now the the loop will continually iterate as long as a condition remains true. All right. Then we have now the cast, which will give Ford. We have now Mercedes. We laugh now. How? Now this is the hurry. Then we laugh now. The this one, which will be used to find out or to find out now the length of that hurry. Whereby we laugh now. Cast dot length dot length. So this one. So this is cast dot length, right? Now the other part will now 
have our test we'll have now to use our test we we'll have now to use our test nobody will have now to have this is your you have just used for in certain links so this is All right, now I left that one. Then we we'll have follow. Oh, this is follow. Well, it we start with hi. The other one, the I we have used there. Then we we'll have this one equals to zero. Then we we'll have now hi is less than. Clan now will give out the will give out the the length of an hurry the length of an hurry so we we'll have now then we we'll have then we we'll have now the test. equals to we love now this is another one we we'll love now to change the length then we have cast the array name then we say star right no Love the other one, which is all right. Now, after I finish that, we we'll have now the semicolon here, then After this one now, after the curly braces, we love now the test which equals to or love plus equals to then close you close so this one so you will close in so close in tank for that one then you'll have some color now the the follow up, it will run as long as the value for high, the value for high remains less than clan. So this clan now is the cast length or the length of this array, which is three, which is three. So as long as the value for high is less than three, then it will, it will run. Let's run a program and see the output. Right, there's something wrong. Something wrong. I've checked. So this is cast length. So this is a, there's a space here. Right down. Let's try it run. Let's try to run. Right, right, right. Let's write document. Right. We love now to print out the value for now 
we want to print out the value for this one to print out the value for this one now love now to call it you go paste this then you paste it here right and uh, then you And then defined right all right all right all right now three the print out three now the print out three so it will run Right, 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 right. Now you print out the value for test. Now the test shows this is this is cars whereby you'll give the value of i, which is an increment. So it will count this one, this one, and this one. So the value will run as long as this one remains true or is less than or the last part last pattern so it will print out the whole of this one this one and this one and this one no love now this one print out how to see now thank you guys for watching so this is land tech Philo. remember to subscribe you can share and if you our website landtechfilo.com and I learn more of our courses for free it's totally free totally free from scratch thank you thank you thank you